So, who the hell, how do you know if someone is good? If they're, if they're pure inside or if they're the devil? I mean, who knows? You know, there's that saying, like, you look in someone's eyes and it's the window to their soul, you know? And maybe some people are just more intuitive, but when I look in someone's eyes, I just see their pupils. Like, mm -hmm. pupils, no, I'm being serious, right? Yeah, yeah. So, and, and so, yes, some people are just more intuitive or in tune, but for, for those of us who are not, you know? Yeah, I'm not intuitive. I, You're I, I, I mean, like, I, I, I like to pick up on people's vibes and energy. And, oh, okay, uh, so that's, yes. So that, that's how I get mm -hmm. close to uh, somebody, uh, whether it's a friend or whomever it is, right? I, I pick up on that energy. Uh, we're able to talk about uh, certain things that I believe is right, and you know, I'll bring myself close, I'll draw myself closer to you. But if you're talking about certain things that are, are that don't help me grow or don't help, that don't bring positive yes. to any situation, something feels a little creepy. Then I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna distance myself. I'm not gonna hate you. I'm just gonna distance myself from mm -hmm. you and just you can stay over there. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'm talking to you who mm -hmm. we can you know grow from each other, learn from each other. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm I don't really I can't tell besides. Actions. I mean, you can tell a person is good not just by what they say, but especially through actions. I mean, how do they treat other people? How do they treat their uh, their loved one? How do, how do they treat you know the mom? Their, 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 their pets. The pets. A fly. Would you see? A, would you trust somebody that whacks a fly? Like I, I would. <laughs> Actually, no. I whack flies, but I'm a good guy. Uh, but no. Uh, Action speak a lot of than words, right? A mm -hmm. lot of a lot of people out there who know how to manipulate and, and say things, but you just ba base your base the judge them based on their actions. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you even allowed to ju judge people? Is judging a good thing to do? I don't know. I mean, I think. I mean, I don't think. I, I think it's a degree, right? Um, I don't think you should judge someone so severely and like condemn them, right? Yeah. Or put them on a pedestal, but um, you have to make some sort of judgments to see if it's uh, a danger, you know what I mean? A, a danger side. In the meantime, right? I'll just distance myself from you. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't have to talk to you, I don't have to communicate mm -hmm. with you. At the same time, I'd rather be with people who are positive, mm -hmm. right? And you get a good, you get a good, uh, sense of these things when you're surrounded by positivity. You could just tell. Right? Walking into true love, you could already tell that Luna and John they are very welcoming and, and, and right they, they won't let you Who I have a good question. How is it that sometimes some animals can heal people? No really like you know you hear of uh, dolphins and horses and dogs and that they heal, or they, that they help, like, um, they help autistic children, but sometimes even heal uh, traumatized individuals. Is that, is that for real? Yeah, you didn't know that? I didn't know that. Well, yeah. I, I've always thought that animals have a sixth sense. I've always thought that, but, like, they sense certain yeah. things, like spirits or, or, or just anything yeah I and fully like, why is it that we're animals and why don't we sense that why do you think some animals can sense you know the the weirdness some no weird idea. thing you don't know, why I have no idea I ask myself that all the time like <laughs> how come I can't have a sixth sense like 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 yeah. my dog like Kale yeah. Kale how come you could sense there's a ghost here not me <laughs> hmm. is it because we rely too heavily on language I, I think I think our our mind is just, I don't know, uh, we, we're, we're, we're too busy being humans, right? Mm -hmm. Humans mm -hmm. are very destructive. We're, we're, we're and distracted. Distracted. Yes. Uh, there's so much distractions going in my head because of media, because of whatever, right? Mm -hmm. so, the peace of life also, yeah, exactly. right? So animals have that pure mind. They don't, mm -hmm. I don't think they have hate in their heart, right? Most don't, yeah. I don't I, think so. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, I think there right. is that odd kind of strange, yeah. <laughs> uh, crazy for cocoa puffs. You yeah, know? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna surround myself like you. Yeah, but, you're crazy dog. No, but uh, you're right though. And uh, humans are distracted by by the society and 
and we're not as pure as animals, I guess. I don't know. Good yeah. question. Yeah, he said that uh, people have had uh, spiritual experiences from just being a dolphin. See, it's the same, the same thing with uh, with babies, though. I feel like babies are so pure as well, right? And they sense, like, mm. so innocent, and they sense mm. like certain things as well, right? Yeah. Someone told me. Yeah. Someone told me that. Uh, a child's eyes, meaning their perspective right, on a situation and people and things, that it's different. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, maybe they're not so distracted by adult issues or preoccupations. I guess as you grow, you get exposed to certain things and it just fills up your mind with unnecessary uh, thoughts and distractions. Mm -hmm. So, good mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you think women and men are different? 100%. Oh, this is a controversial... Oh, no, 100%. Yeah? Like, what, no, wait. Not, first of all, physically or...? No, not okay. physically, buddy. Uh, <laughs> no. What about emotionally? Oh, uh, yeah. Cognitively? I don't want to say anything wrong, you know? Okay, know, well, I, what, I what's, okay, what, what do you think is the main... Okay, why do you love women? What's something, what's something very special about women? That, that makes you love them? I love the way they love. The way they love is, is like no other. I haven't tried man's stuff before. But <laughs> <I mean, laughs> what I'm saying, like, I just know the way women love is just... There's a certain type of love. They, 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 they nurture okay. you. They really care for you. Um, like mom and your sisters, yeah, right? Mom, yes, sister, female cousins, female and right? And Cooking for you, Julio. Like, they, they, they know how to... <laughs> Just take care of you. Yeah, the ones that I've uh, been around. I guess I'm good at picking on my girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what about a man's love? A man's love? Yeah, and that's from your friends, See, right? Okay, with me, I, I don't feel like, me personally, it's hard for me to show love because we're like the more masculine type, like, oh, I'm too tough for love type of thing, right? But we, we show love in different ways. Yes, yes. Um, the way I show love is I protect and I provide and I, with my girlfriend at least. And, uh, and women are more empathetic. Is that right? Is that the right word? They're more uh, compassionate. Yes, yes, understand, yes. Mm -hmm. understand. And like, mm -hmm. I guess I, I'm, more, I'm more drawn to a woman's love. <laughs> they're, they're softy. Yeah, I, I, I love being loved. Oh, oh what about your love for your um, for your dog? Do you think you kind of have like a, you know, like you almost see your dog as your your child? Do you kind of have that. I see my dog in myself. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like my dog is like. A mini you? Um, like a mini we kind of? Beastly me, like. Yeah? Yeah. Because I would, like, you know, because the love is different. I always felt like my dogs were like my little children, yeah. you know, like, yeah. you know, right? And it was like, yeah, I I would love them differently from my, my just, right, you know, peers, my friends, it's you like, know? Have you noticed yeah. uh, the relationship between an adult? And a little toddler. Do you know how how their character changes right away whenever they're talking to toddlers? They're all, they're all more playful and whatnot. Like, oh, <laughs> the voice goes higher. The voice goes higher, and yeah, they, dogs and children just trigger some sort of response. Uh, no, what's that word? It triggers something in us. An instinct of in, of, of innocence, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's where. That's where we should be at all times, you know, in a sense, love and just compassion. You know? Do you still feel like you're inside, that you're five years old? I am. Right? I am five yeah. years old. I still feel that way too. All the time. Behind closed doors. <laughs> Behind closed doors. <laughs> <laughs>